Up to 95% of the email you receive is spam. This video shows how Spam Blocker solves the problem. I'll explain the unique secret sauce behind Spam Blocker and demonstrate its power and ease of use. So stay tuned. Spam Blocker is a security subscription you can run on WatchGuard's Firebox X, powered by our partner, ComTouch. ComTouch's outbreak detection technology moves the spam battle off your mail servers. Here's how it works. ComTouch has scanning outposts all over the world, located at ISPs, business partners, and among ComTouch's customers. These inspection stations monitor email all over the internet, about 2 billion messages per day. When a message passes by, ComTouch inspects it and puts all its bits and bytes through algorithms that sum up the message as a hash value, which ComTouch caches. A real email is unique, so its hash value is also unique. Spam emails are identical, so their hash values are identical. ComTouch finds spam in real time by spotting repeated hash values. But just because a message repeats, that doesn't prove it is spam. It could be legitimate commercial email. So ComTouch also assesses information about the sender, using sophisticated blacklists, whitelists, and other factors. For example, if a thousand identical messages come simultaneously from a hundred senders, that's pretty obviously a botnet at work. This approach, known as recurrent pattern detection, is highly accurate at spotting emails that repeat anywhere around the world in real time. So how does that apply to you if you use Spam Blocker? Your Spam Blocker installation scans incoming emails using the same algorithms as ComTouch's high-powered data centers. As soon as you turn on Spam Blocker, it immediately begins comparing message hash values with ComTouch's global database. Because the system is comparing small hashes instead of entire emails, the queries are tiny and travel really fast. The round trip takes about 300 milliseconds. ComTouch also begins to update your local cache dynamically so matches can occur even faster. Within seconds, yeah! your networks benefit from knowledge of spam outbreaks anywhere else in the world, detected in real time. And notice that items that are clearly spam never have to touch your email server, saving you management time and storage costs. Recurrent Pattern Detection, or RPD, assesses the code that makes an email rather than the content of the email. Thus, it works in any language works on image-based spam, works on PDFs, and isn't fooled when a spammer finds a new way to spell Viagra. With RPD, you don't need to spend weeks training your system, as you do with Bayesian filters. In short, spam blockers' innovation results in very few misses and almost zero false alarms. I've just described how spam blocker works, but you still haven't seen it in action. What is it like to use spam blocker? I'll show you next. You can use Spam Blocker in ways that are simple if you're pressed for time, or nuanced if you want fine-grained control. For example, Spam Blocker doesn't simply just classify mail as spam or not spam. It categorizes spam into confirmed spam, bulk mail, or suspect spam. You can then tell it to treat each of those categories in the same or different ways. For each email message trying to enter your network, Spam Blocker does one of three things. It blocks it, it quarantines it, or it lets it through. Let's delve into these functions. Starting with blocking. When Spam Blocker receives an email that is confirmed spam, it can block it. When it drops spam, here's what you see. Nothing. Why would you want to see anything? It's spam. Okay, I admit, that takes a bit of faith, so you might prefer to use the quarantine option. To show you Spam Blocker's quarantine server at work, we installed it on a Firebox on WatchGuard's own corporate network. In the first shot, Spam Blocker is running, but the quarantine option is not. Here's what happened as soon as we turned on the quarantine option. If you want to, you can open any message in the quarantine folder to see its headers and content. But since up to 95% of email is spam, look how many quarantine messages we accumulated in less than two hours. Maybe you don't want to dedicate an IT staff member to sorting through all this junk mail. Spam Blocker gives you the option of letting each of your users manage his or her own spam folder on the quarantine server. You can configure Spam Blocker so that users receive periodic emails that list messages currently stored for them. 
you decide how much control you want to keep or delegate, all the way down to letting users personally trash quarantine messages or allow one into their inbox. The third thing Spam Blocker can do is allow messages through. They can either come in without comment or Spam Blocker can add a remark in the subject line. You can tag the different categories of spam any way you want. The tags show up as character strings in an email subject line, which makes it easy for you to further sort spam using rules you set up on your mail server or on your email clients. There's much more to Spam Blocker than I can show you in this short video, but I hope you've gotten enough of a glimpse to see that Spam Blocker wraps some unique and powerful technology in an easy to use interface. If you'd like to know more, you can read the Spam Blocker chapter in the WSM user guide at this URL or contact your WatchGuard reseller. I'm Peter McNall. Thanks for watching.